right, we got us a young girl that's going to give us a word of scripture, so go ahead, Pam, move up a little bit there. Go ahead. Mark 4, 39, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. The wind ceased and there was a great calm. Good job. It's always good to start them off early, isn't it? Uh, I almost forgot. We, uh, a buddy of mine here, Heath, he uh, made us 500 flyers. And all you that would, grab like a handful of them, pass them out in your neighborhood and start inviting people in. And uh, we appreciate that. We thank you for that, Heath. And uh, he was over at our men's prayer meeting. And this weekend, I did not get donuts, and uh, I about got slayed over that, but he saved my life, and uh, not only that, he gave, he gave me one of them big special donuts that's the size of a tractor tire, so me and him are best friends now, so, <laughs> no, no, we're thankful for these men here, ain't we? <laughs> well, I'm ready to have church, ain't you? Let's just go ahead and start this revival, and let's just pray God has his way today, okay? That if you ain't, if you don't have the whole, if the Jesus Christ in your heart today, you can have it here right now. The hardest step is the first step, and the rest is easy. I guarantee you. So just let the Holy Spirit speak to you this morning. so much to thank him for. Well, I've got so much to thank him for, and so much to praise him for. You see, he has been so good to me. Oh, but when I think of what he's done and where that he has brought me from, I've got so much to thank Started for 
Lazarus in on that bright eternal shore where the saints of God shall gather and live forevermore. It's a land of love and pure delight where my possessions lie and I'm bound for the land of Canaan when I die. Oh yes, I'm bound for the land of Canaan and by eternal where the living waters flow and every day I'm getting nearer to his portals this I know some glad morning I'll be singing glory glory to the Lamb and I'm bound for the land of Canaan yes I am oh yes I'm bound for the land of Canaan and by A land of rest eternal where the living waters flow and every day I'm getting nearer to his portals this I know some glad morning I'll be singing glory glory to the Lamb and I'm bound for the land of Canaan yes I am oh yes I'm bound for the land of Canaan and by the love Praise of God, surely I'm gaining some happy day. With all the reps of I'll stand, singing his praises over in the Canaan's happy land. Oh yes, I'm bound for the land of Canaan. And by the love and grace of God, surely I'm gaining some happy day. eternal where the living waters flow and every day I'm getting nearer to his portals this I know some glad morning I'll be singing glory glory to the Lamb and I'm bound for the land of Canaan yes I am oh yes I'm bound for the land of Canaan and by the love and grace of God surely I'm Canaan some happy day with all the reps of I'll stand singing his praises over in the Canaan's happy land. I'm sad satisfied with just a cottage below a little silver and a little gold all but in that city where the ransom will shine well I want a gold one that silver
Come on up. Holy Spirit's here, ain't he? Like Doug said, it's a perfect time to get saved. This could be your last service. You don't know what holds tomorrow. Don't, don't hold back. Let the Holy Spirit talk in you. Let him get inside you. Because like I said, this could be your last service. You listen to him as they sing this morning. Woo! I appreciate these revival waves that's coming in here, don't you? <laughs> Amen. I'm looking for a big revival. How about you guys? I want to see a bunch of people saved. I told them last week, or Saturday at men's prayer meeting, we had a revival here that lasted seven weeks one time. Seven weeks. Wasn't nobody worried about ball fields. Wasn't nobody worried about anything. There was a church. Where this place was packed. It's in that little red church over there. It only hold about 100 then. It was packed. Had 60 some people saved in that revival. And we can have that same thing in 2024. But it's going to take some work out of us. It's a commitment out of us. Putting some priorities in line and getting ready for this thing. Amen. We need to invite and get everyone here. Praise the Lord. You want to sing that? G flat.
Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name. <laughs> Come on, son. That's a boy. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Amen. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt anything that's going on over here, but the Lord's been asking me to sing for a while. I work night shift, four days a week, 12 hours a day, and the entire time I'm at work, I sit and listen to Christian songs and sermons and this and that because I don't get very often to get to come to church. But I got a phone call that I'm going to have an interview at a different job. It's going to pay a lot better. I'm going to be able to see my family a lot more. And it's going to be able to let me come to church more. But God's been weighing on my heart to come back up here and sing. I haven't sang for a while. I quit for some reason. I don't know why. But I haven't had a time to edit the lyrics out of the song I'm going to get ready to sing. So you're going to hear the guy who's originally singing it in the background, which is a good thing because I'll probably mess up. So y'all just listen to this one. At the mention of his name, walls crumbled, lives are changed. In the midst of life's temptations, he's there to see us through. This man of which I speak is here today for you. And me, his name is Jesus, but you can call him as you please. They call him Emmanuel, the King of all kings. He's the Son of the Father. forgiveness it stays the same Most in his story things he spoke the whole world still reads his name is Jesus but you can call him as you
got one more. I've been, I've been stuck on this one for a while because I don't know why. God puts this in my heart every church service, and I just haven't followed his word to come up here and sing. And as you can see, I've got a little girl over there, and it just, like I said, it weighed on me too hard today. And I just, I couldn't hold anymore while she's sitting over there crying because she's probably hungry or aggravated or whatever. (laughs) So, but like I said, I've been thinking about this one for a while. And for some reason, God's putting it on my heart again today. Maybe someone needs to hear it. I don't know. But here it is. This is called A God Who Listens. The God who made the winters and the summers. One who put the stars all in their place The only one who cares above all others Yeah, he knows me by name The angels hide their faces in his presence The demons run for cover when you speak the world and named above the heavens and still draw close to me and when I close my eyes I know that I'm not just hoping I'm not just wishing I know I'm praying to a God who listens I know he hears me, I know he's living, yes I am praying to a God who listens. He runs for me and leads me by still waters, I lay my troubles down at his feet. Savior and the Father, He is a friend to me. How can it be? I'm not just hoping, I'm not just wishing, I know I'm praying to a God who listens. I know He hears me. Who loves me, who never will fail me I tells me that I am his own And you surround me, beside me You always are for me So I come on to your throne I'm not just hoping, I'm not just wishing Yes, I am praying to a God who listens. Well, not a promise that we've been given. Yes, I am praying to a God who listens. I ain't, uh, I'm just going to mind the Lord here, okay? I, I made it sure it was okay with the pastor. He said something ain't right, and I said, well, it could be me. I need to mind the Lord here. So uh, we went to, 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 it's been a very wild week for my family uh, with all this going on with my parents and everything, doing a lot of running. You know how it is. You that's been there, you understand all that. But uh, we did get to go last night uh, at the very last minute. We, we did get to go with to Caleb's revival over in Reardon and Jeremy started the service here's what he said he said I just got a text from Tim Throckmorton he said uh, Tim said that Iran has uh, launched an all out attack sending a bunch of drones and missiles to Israel Tim also said we know what God says about that All nations that turn on Israel will be destroyed. Basically, we'll just put it in good English without giving you Bible there, but it's full of it. 
Nehemiah talks about it. I, I read it last night in, uh, uh, in uh, Hezekiah. That's what I meant. Hezekiah, I read in Hezekiah last night talking about the nations that turn. But boys, you come up here. We're going to sing this song. This song, when, when Jeremy said those words, there was a little bit of fear rose up in me. You know, because I know what that means. That means look up. When these nations start turning on Israel, look up. The trumpet is about to sound. So the very next thought, Debbie, that come in my mind was thank God I'm free. No matter how many nations shoot missiles at, our, at Israel or how much they get under attack, Doug Brown's soul is taken care of. And that's what you need to be worried about right now. If you're not where you need to be with God, if you're not exactly all tuned in and all your, got all your T's crossed and your I's dot with your, with your salvation or you got some question there, you need to take care of that this morning. Because the water has been troubled here. The Holy Spirit has showed up here in a mighty way. He's already changed one young man. Thank God for Barry stepping forward and receiving salvation into his heart. Thank God for that. And listen, I want to tell you something else. Just because you come to church and you put a smile on your face and you fake out Pastor Tom and you fake out me and, and Burnett, your Sunday school teacher, with that smile on your face, if you've not taken care of this yourself personally, you're not going to make it. I got to just tell you like it is. You're not going to make it. Just because your daddy's a preacher or your mommy's a teacher or, or whatever don't mean you're going to make it today. It's a personal relationship with you and God and God knows your heart. He knows what's in your heart right now. He knows whether you've been taking care of that or not. So it's up to you this morning. We're going to sing this song, an old song we've sang for ever and ever and ever. Thank God I am free. If you need to get free today, if you need to be delivered today, this is a perfect opportunity. Right now, while these waters are troubled, the revival spirit's in this place. God is having his way. Church is minding God. It's a wonderful atmosphere. Just a free spirit here today. Won't you come? Don't hesitate. Don't let the enemy tell you all that garbage that you gotta fix and worry about. Because when you bring your mess to Jesus, he turns it into something. He fixes it up for you. So won't you mind him today as we sing this song, okay? Amen. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Been washed in the blood of Jesus, I've been born again.
and show me the way. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born again. In the blood of Jesus, I've been born again.
this world of sin. Hey, I've been washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born shovels out if you need to clean out your well. The rakes are out if you need to stir back up your far. Stir it up. Revival is on. The Holy Ghost is doing his part here for Beach Fork right now. 
If you sit contrary and you go home with the same old crap you come with, it's on you. It's on you. Because the Holy Ghost has been here to do His work. And He's doing it. And I thank Him for doing it. I ain't felt that for a long time. I ain't felt that for a long time. And it felt good. It felt good. It felt good. You want some of it, it's here. It's here, amen. I didn't start it, and I ain't going to finish it. You all just mind the Lord this morning. God's here. Thank God. Revival's on. Revival's on, church. You know what God honors? He honors that little men's prayer meeting yesterday morning, I believe. That's one of the, that's not the only thing, but it's part of it. Thank God that he is here this morning. Lord, if you want him, you can have him. If you want more of him, you can have more of him. Before you leave here this morning... I just don't hardly know what to do with this thing. I ain't no singer. No. I can't sing a lick, but I'm going to try to sing power of prayer. Yep. Thank God. There's power this morning in prayer. Don't ever think, you know, people say, well, all I can do is pray. I'm going to tell you, that's the greatest thing you can do. Come on, sing. That's right. I ain't no singer. You sing, and I'll, I'll back you 100%. Thank God. I know we sing this song all the time, but um, God asked to sing it, and don't matter how many times I sing it, I love the song, <laughs> I love the words of the song, so... Jesus over every heart and every mind cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Cause your name is power Your name is healing And your
shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness over every enemy and Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus Peace. 
story You never gave up on me You never gave up on me This is my testimony Oh You never gave up on me You never gave up on me This is my testimony
I'm free at last. Well, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. Well, I'm free from the guilt of the past. And for I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. Well, I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free at last. I am free from the guilt that I carry. From the dull, empty life I'm set free. For when I met Jesus, He made me complete. Well, He forgot the foolish man I used to be.
Amen. Revival's on. Come back tonight. Men, be here if you can at 645. We'll have prayer for the service. And uh, then during the revival, we're going to try to meet at 715 to have prayer each night back here for the service before they start. So come back tonight. Brother Doug's on schedule tonight, but we'll see uh, what God's got, right? Come back tonight. God bless you. Love you.